Planting season is upon us. Maybe you're thinking about planting your own garden, or maybe you need to find someone you can have help you with that. Well, Jennifer is with Joni Cabarra from Burgust Farms. Jennifer? Thank you, Mark. Well, it's time to get a little bit dirty. I think my hands are going to get dirty in a moment. It is planting season, indoor planting season, if you are into gardening. And we have Joni Cabarra from Burgess Farms, like you said, Mark, here with us to talk a little bit about getting things going and getting ready for the season. Joni, you have brought a wide array of stuff here today. Tell me a little bit, what, what's the green stuff we have over here? Um, that is a Chinese cabbage or an Napa cabbage. Um, that'll be ready to go out here pretty soon. And uh, is this something you started indoors? Yes. Yeah, we start all this indoors um, just so we can get it out sooner, get it going so we can all start eating. That, that is very helpful. That is good. What else do you have here for us? I got a um, those are green beans. Those green we beans. don't plant inside. We plant outside. The, the ground is still so cold from our winter that it needs to warm up quite a bit more before we can plant those and all right. get good results. And we also have a few other things over here. These are things that you will actually plant. Is that right? Right. Yeah. We have um, these are chives, which uh, if you've not started with any kind of herbs, they are great because they just grow like crazy, and you really can't kill them. Mm -hmm. have, haven't been possible. We have onions. These are onion plants, and these will grow into the nice, big, sweet onions that everybody likes so well. Um, and then we have the onion sets, and these, these are, can go in the ground now. Uh, and these will just make you nice green onions, uh, but they won't develop a big bulb on them. Okay. All right, so you have here a... I'm not sure what this would be called. You've got you got a bunch of dirt. Is what you I have. got a bunch of dirt. This is a flat. This is um, I think it's 105 cells in here, um, and I have zucchini seeds. Zucchini seeds. And of course, we're behind in planting with the weather, so we brought it so you could help. Oh, so today <laughs> I get to help the Cabarras with their planting, which is great. Um, I am all for eating really, really healthy food, but. I'm not so good at growing things. <laughs> For <laughs> That's some why reason, we're here. I forget to water things. Um, all right, so we have zucchini. Now right. I have to tell you, Joni, if I was getting my zucchini seeds, I probably would try to go to the store and get a bag of them. But you mm -hmm. were just handing me a bunch of seeds. Where, did you save these from the past, or where did you get these? No, these aren't saved. Uh, but we buy them by the five-pound bag. Um, we we buy untreated seeds. So there's. No chemicals in them, ah. uh, and of course everything we do is non-genetically -genet modified. And we'll talk about Burgess so. Farms in just a moment and find out a little bit more about all the things that the Cabarras do. But let's go ahead and start planting. Okay. Um, we already have your dirt in here. We've we filled it up all the way, and then took another tray just like this and pressed it down, so that our dirt is compacted a little bit. So okay. all you have to do is go through and put go one through. seed, which these are easy. I could have brought you little radish seeds, which are <laughs> very tiny. So one seed in here. Yeah, you, you don't even have to press them down. Oh. You just set them on top. All right. Well, just set them on top. Yeah. Well, that's that's easy. Well, after several hundred of these, one right after another, you, you don't have the patience to <laughs> set them quite so perfectly. So if I was doing these in my house and I was starting these at home, where would be a good place to, to uh, position them in my house so that they get a good growth start? Um, if you're just doing it in your house, find a nice sunny windowsill. Uh, but yes, watering them is important, and you would have to remember to keep turning your tray because they will reach for the sun. And how do you water something like this since your compartments are so small? A little sprayer, a little hand sprayer. How often do you need to be watering? I, just watch the dirt. Just watch um, the dirt. If the sun is shining beautifully in your window, you're going to have to water them a couple times a day because these little tiny cells will dry out really fast. So you mentioned that the ground is pretty, um, it's pretty frozen because of our winter. Is that going to mean a delay in outdoor planting this year? Um, yeah, the ground is not frozen anymore, uh, but it is still cold. And um, certain crops, you can plant your uh, cool crops, cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, uh, lettuces, the Chinese cabbage, things like that can be planted now. Uh, but the tomatoes, any kind of squash, uh, any of that stuff needs warm, warm soil. The roots don't like to be cold and you'll just stunt them and then you'll be way behind. 
So I'm in the process of planting something like 120 zucchini plants. I would say that's probably a little excessive for a home garden, but you do things, you're not just planting for yourself. Tell us a little bit about Burgess Farms and what you offer. Uh, we have several farmers markets in the Lima area that we sell our produce at. We also have a uh, CSA program, which is Community Supported Agriculture, uh, where you sign up and you receive a box every week of produce. Um, these 100 you're planting uh, will be part of about 1,000 hmm. of these plants. 1,000 zucchini plants. Mm -hmm. what, other, what other produce can you think of that you know you're going to have as part of your um, CSA program this year? We have the onions, of course. Our onions are very popular. A lot of tomatoes, peppers. Uh, we're trying some new kinds of peppers this year. Uh, I always like to experiment with the hot peppers. Uh, cabbages, lettuces. Uh, going to try some more herbs this year. And what makes you different in a sense than say just going to the grocery store? You, you mentioned before that you buy seeds that haven't been treated. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you strive to have natural methods on your yes. farm? Yes, we don't use um, any unnatural chemicals. Uh, we do everything. <laughs> You're missing holes there. Oh, whoops, <laughs> sorry. See, I'm failing. I can eat the food, but I can't plant the food very well. <laughs> uh, we don't use any of the man-made chemicals on our crops. We keep them all natural. Uh, we fertilize daily. If somebody has some questions about your CSA program, if they want to sign up or find out more information, uh, where would you recommend they call or where can they find you? Um, they can call us. Uh, the easiest is probably, uh, oh, there's... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's all right. That number on the screen, is that's, that a good one? That's fine. Um, there's also the website or there is a Facebook page. If you just search face, uh, Burgess on Facebook, we're there also and we can answer all your questions. I'm trying to, I'm trying to finish this up. I'm getting behind. So this is, I'm only doing a hundred of a thousand of these. That's, that's a lot of work. How many hours in a day do you think you put into getting oh, your farm going? We don't count. <laughs> because if we counted the hours, we would be very tired, but we're usually up before the sun and uh, in bed long after it sets. <laughs> well, if you are looking for a resource for some great uh, healthy food, then Burgess Farm CSA program made you just for you. I have done it. Did I miss any You've of them? It. No, They're all in it. there. Now we put dirt on top. Here we go. See how easy it is? I feel yeah. like a and kind of just, a just successful gardener here. If you have any more questions, you can give them a call. Find them on Facebook, Burgess Farms. And thanks so much, Joni. Thank you. Looking forward to seeing these grow and seeing what comes from them. Well, we didn't talk about garden art, but that is something you can also add to your garden. And Mark and Zach actually have some garden art that was recently donated for the TV44 auction. What do you have there, guys?